This one seems to be banging a little bit inside, just like something's loose or offline. Like a loose brake pad or something like that. And this one sounds like a very, very distant jet engine when you're behind it. <sighs> but it's not, it's really, if the wind's up, you can't really hear it. And you would mistake it for a jet. The rest of this, as far as the wiring and everything back here, if the entire province or New Brunswick, like Crackety, was wired like this, I don't think they'd have any issues for ice storms. But you build something to last, or you don't replace it, that's what happens. They say Edison had a large room full of engineers and technicians building light bulbs and that he made a hundred of them before he got it right. Whatever is called imperfect about these, it's just the same as everything else. It's only a matter of time. We all have light bulbs in our house. And even in the last 10 years, they've gone down to like 10% in their previous consumption. So when I see something that doesn't truly pollute, uh, it may be sporadic, but there's other technologies to combine with it, and not just a matter of time as well. But these things are truly part of our lives. And the more we embrace it, just like our other friends who want to burn oil and coal, and I sell trucks for a living, so I realize the hypocrisy of it, but it's part of our life. Our lives are changing. And the more efficient a truck I can sell, the better I feel. And the more efficient I can run my house, and that's why it's all electric other than one propane. I feel I have more control. And the air that me and Macy are breathing while we're walking is a far nicer quality. Anyhow, that's just my opinion. <laughs>